and the banking system is in deep trouble, a lot of bad loans. Uh, the, the government is, is now has taken steps to try to dig itself out of this hole. One of the ways of doing it is actually to try to get the yen down in value. This gives a little opportunity to people like me to make some money <laughs> and dig, us, dig ourselves out. Yeah, I know. You've lost some money on the end, <laughs> did right, you not? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, but, uh, so, uh, interest some rates, money is putting it lightly, probably. Uh, uh, interest rates uh, have, have been reduced practically to zero, uh, one half percent. Right. Uh, and uh, finally, the, the uh, uh, yen is, is, is falling in value. And, uh, you know, there's the problem of Put, uh, Keynes mentioned this problem of pushing on a string, but there are these holes in the banking system, so you can push a lot of string into those holes, so you will be able to do something. So I think that, that Japan will probably dig itself out, but it hasn't even started to deal with the, with the structural issue which has gotten it, it, it into the hole. Because what people don't realize, we sort of so admire the, this fabulous industrial the economic machine. Economic miracle that's the, taken place yeah, there. The industrial machine where Japan really has comparative advantage in practically every industry that it uh, enters. Because they were modernized after the war and they <coughs> had appropriate management yeah, I think it's it's Count. a lot. It has a lot to do with uh, with mentality. Right, the, the, that's what you I'm know, saying. really sort of a uh, a, a, a work a ethic, work, work work ethic, and uh, in a way, you know, sort of a a feudal a feudal mentality, yeah. uh, which is which is good for producing, but not very good for 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 trading not very good for uh, uh, playing uh, financial markets for that you need a different uh, mentality a commercial mentality and that they don't have and because of that they uh, they have this a uh, financial machine which is under the control of the minister of finance it's run by bureaucrats uh, and and operated by bureaucrats and they have actually frittered away practically all the wealth. Oh, the that, profits of the industrial miracle. That, that's right. So there's, 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 there's this tremendous failure <clears throat> next to the tremendous success. We've been mesmerized by the uh, success. We haven't paid attention to the failure. How about China? <clears throat> What's your feeling about China and, and uh, all the talk about the potential of China, both as a market because of a billion plus yeah. people? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I have a little theory about China, and that is that uh, the, the communist regime will be swept out of power by an old-fashioned capitalist bust. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Well, because basically uh, the, uh, the, um, the regime has lost the mandate of heaven, so, uh, as they call it, namely the trust of the people, and is now tolerated because it delivers uh, economic advance right. and it does it because by it's opened itself up to uh, capitalist uh, yeah it attracts <coughs> foreign investment right. which is the engine driving the and if ever that uh, engine goes into reverse then you're it going topples. to have you're going to have political trouble which will push the foreign investors further into reverse which will then create further political problems. So you could have a, a political and economic collapse together. Well, might it happen when uh, Deng Xiaoping dies, and after all, when he well, dies I because think, of the I, competition I think among? I, I think he's, he's essentially dead. Yeah. He's, I think he's dead. So uh, I think that. I don't want to say uh, that essentially dead. I mean, no, clearly, no, I mean, uh, it's it's uh, to all intents yeah. and purposes. So I don't know how. I'm not sufficiently close to it to be able to have a more uh, yeah. concrete sense of it. But you, that's an interesting idea that because uh, that, that if the economic force brought by capitalism should falter, that's right. then it, it's the only thing that's propping up this regime because they have no political viability. They would say, I suspect, yeah, we do. We have an army and that's mm -hmm. how we maintain our power. And that's, that's how true. we stay in power. That is true. That is true. You know, so but we don't uh, need any other kind of power. Yes, but I think that I think power, that, as, Mao, as Mao Zedong said, you know, power comes at the end of a gun barrel. That 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 may be true, but that is ir that is irreconcilable uh, with uh, economic progress because yeah. the army is a drain on the economy, and actually it, it is a, in, in in China I think quite a severe drain. When you, also I mean the notion is I mean someone said to me the other day you know the reason that they want to sell, although they've canceled the contract of selling. Um, uh, to the Iranians yes, yes, was yes. because so many of the people in the 
there's so much corruption at the upper levels right. who are taking advantage of those economic profits. Yeah. Well, you know, the, and the, that, that the, corruption might become the exposed. The second generation of of um, the sons uh, are uh, the sons are the the new uh, entrepreneurs. Yeah, of course, it is. It's the same in Russia. The United States. Uh, you think we have successfully managed a soft landing? That's right. You know, I think, and the future, the, I, think the, I think that our economy is in very good shape. Inflation is under control? Uh, in, inflation is under control. The economy is not going into any kind of a uh, recession. Uh, it's not overheating. Uh, there's a lot of, um, of uh, um, increase in productivity. I think that the, this whole uh, technological re revolution, the information yeah. revolution, uh, I incidentally, it, it means that our cost of living index is out of whack. We have, we have been overstating the, the um, uh, cost of living. And if we reduce it, uh, that would uh, relieve the budget. Mm -hmm. of the uh, uh, of that of the cola you know the, 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 uh, yeah, and, the and that cost I think, of living uh, adjustment yes, right. and that, that that I think has great uh, very bullish yeah. implications for the market now, I, I until I read you had said that I had no idea about mm -hmm. this notion that inflation yeah. is one percent less yes you know is yes. this widely discussed or thought yes, about or it is, is this simply now, it an, is, an, no, an no, argument is, that you have no 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 it is it is uh, it has been a commission and it and and, and it, it's uh, it's very much in the world it's a question whether it is really as much as one percent or not. But you have said it'll save us 160 billion dollars. Yeah, that's right. You know. That's right. Yes. Um, but that's not. In, that's not somehow. It's not in the market yet. Yeah. <laughs> why isn't this a ringing endorsement of President Clinton? Actually, it is. I mean, if, if that's the issue, he's it is done well for the economy. It, you know, it, it's uh, it ought to work for him in the elections. I think he has a reasonable chance of getting reelected. Actually, yeah, I do too. Even though, even though I am extremely critical on his failure uh, uh, on, the, on the foreign policy. But side. you believe he's coming around, though? I mean, he's had recent foreign policy successes. I mean, people will look at Haiti. They will look at Ireland, uh, which is not entirely his. But he began with played yes. a role in that. You've got the Middle East, where there's mm. an additional now phase two yes. uh, on the West Bank. I mean, there are a number mm. of things that people are saying. While you don't win elections on foreign mm. policy, what you do do is erase notions that you don't know what you're doing. That's probably right. That's probably right. I find it rather uh, hard to take that that's the only motivation that uh, that uh, seems to be driving the administration, because I think that uh, we have greater responsibilities in the world. Uh, are you supporting him or not? Uh, I, I supported him last time, but I can't. At, at this point, I can't uh, because of because of uh, because of our foreign policy failure. But I, I'm, you know, I may revise uh, my view. I, I haven't decided how. how, how Do you I'm have? Involved. You don't have a candidate uh, then? No, I don't have a candidate, and I don't intend to to mix in domestic politics. I, I think that I do have a foreign policy agenda, but it's a, a really a bipartisan agen agenda, yeah. and I don't think I can advance it by uh, sort of taking sides. Let me talk about uh, you and your biography, which we have talked about before on this program. Uh, born in Hungary, mm -hmm. uh, when you were 14 years old, your father mm -hmm. uh, taught you, you say, in a masterful way, the art of survival. survival. Yeah. What did you mean? Well, because, you know, this was the German occupation. We would have been taken away and uh, killed. Uh, and uh, he had enough sense uh, because of his previous experiences uh, to realize that the normal... What do you mean his previous experiences? Well, he was a prisoner of war in Russia right. and he escaped and he lived through the Russian Revolution and he came back from that a changed man uh, because, you know, he, he saw uh, this uh, turmoil, you know, he, uh, fighting and I mean he went through a horrendous experience and that taught him a lesson which then came in very useful. He in turn uh, taught me a lesson which came in useful to me. Which is the art of survival, which is... Uh, well, well it's tell me more. basically, basically uh, that there are times when the normal rules don't apply. You see, uh, the, the way you've looked at the world is just not applicable because the world has changed. You, it, it's a revolutionary situation. When has it been applicable in your life and when has it been employed in well, your life? Well, it was certainly uh, uh, had this experience with the Nazi regime.